What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Bass Union. We're on the lake right now at Lake Orville. And let me tell you, this wind blowing down this bank is really making me want to maybe pick up a spinner bait. Don't have too many rods in the boat right now. So let me cut this uh, this guy off. This bank right here just looks too good. I'm going to tie on a spinner bait real quick. You know, we got to throw that, that Dobbin Z blade. That's the one out here, for me at least. A little small compact profile. The half ounce. I'm going to be burning bank. Got a late start, but better than no start. It's gonna be one of the only nice days this week. So, gotta take advantage. You know, water temps like mid 50s. And these fish are getting pretty shallow. And they're wanting to do the thing. So, gotta take advantage. While they're up here, maybe see if we can get that reaction bite going. Got this nice tree right here. Dude, white on white is my jam. I know there's gotta be some fish in there. Yeah, I was totally not prepared. I really didn't have any rods laid out. Literally, first thing I I thought about was a spinner bait on this windblown bank. That or an A-rig. But this spinner bait is a lot faster to set up. We'll just, just go down the bank with this wind, see if we can get anything going. Well, that didn't work. Cover a decent amount of water. I'm gonna pick up, uh, try an A-rig. See if the A-rig draws them. Oh, there's a good one. That one cracked it. That's how you want to hit it right there. Got me a jumper, baby. Oh, that's a fatty. Man, I could have used this one in the last tournament. Gosh darn it. Yeah, we had a Pro-Am out here. I fished that BAM Pro-Am. Could have used this fish. We'll get a weight on it. Smoke that, what was that, that center? No, that's the bottom, one of the bottom wires. Oh, he was not coming off. I'm gonna need the pliers on this guy. Oh. Where's the pliers? There's some. There we go. Yeah, he was not coming off. Look at that fatty right there. That's that's a fat Orville fish. Let's get a weight on it. Zero the scale out. Let's see what this fish weighs. Oh yeah. That's a good one. 295. Screw it. We'll save our best five. 295 for our first fish in the boat. Not a bad one. Yep. We'll take it. 295. Great way to start the day. A rig fish. Smoke that bass union A rig. You want to go home. That's was pretty cool. Well, had some followers, had some short strikes, but we kept with it. Got a good one in the boat. Let's keep this train rolling. Let's see if he's got a buddy on this thing. See, so yeah, on that Bam Pro Am, I ended up getting fifth place three days well, we fished the first two days and with them if you make check range then you fish the championship sunday so i was sitting in eighth place or seventh oh there's another one. Oh, that's a good one oh not as good 
smoked it. Fatty though. That spot rock. But yeah, as I was saying, I was sitting in seventh or eighth, can't remember. So I was able to fish championship Sunday and third day I had 1370 for my best five. And so I was able to boop, bump up to fifth place. So got a good check. You know, it was like two grand or so. So I'll take it. And not bad for fishing the home pond, having a fun few days, you know, seeing a bunch of buddies and having some good competition out here. Another one, I was like back to back cast right there. I'll get them on the scale. All right, this one is a 186 locked in. Last two fish so far. Let's see what else we can get. Almost thinking I need to go to like uh, quarters, three sixteenths or quarters, because these fish are like they're slow on it, and you gotta like burn it past them. And I'm not getting deep enough for these eight ounce heads. Let's go in the inventory. Three ounce, two ounce. 16th quarters yeah I think quarters would be the deal just get a little deeper and I could burn that thing a little faster I mean it's not like that's gonna sink a rock but it'll sink fast enough where I can keep a decent speed turn the handle and keep it a little lower that's what I love about fishing you're always experimenting seeing what's gonna work the best that day so I'll keep those heads on there just to so I'll ruin the plastic. Once I put once I put these uh, these Kitex on uh, on my little fish heads, they are locked in there. So these are three threes, and I'm using a two watt two watt hook. So it's like perfect. So I got a four barb keeper on here. Bam. There we go. Quick little swap a rooski. That's on there. That's on there. This guy will be back in business. Let's see if this makes a difference. So now we got two quarter ounce heads on the bottom and still running a 16th in the middle. And that's literally just to keep that A rig keeled. So you got the heavier heads on the bottom, it's going to force that A to come through the water nice and straight. Just how I like to rig them. Like that first freaking cast, dude. Decent one. Eh. Probably in between that last guy. And then it's just straight reaction. The bottom hook. Not bad. First cast. Yeah, we're not even going to scale this guy. He's not worth it. I want bigger. There we go. Got one on the spinning rod. I couldn't help myself. I've seen too many dots out here. Too many fish. I had to give them a cast. See if there's any good ones.
There's one. Not a bad one, actually. Hit the spot lock. Hey, yeah, ain't a bad one. Dude, this spot lock is crazy on this trolling motor. It's like as soon as you hit it, it just freaking snaps into gear and tries to hook <laughs> three out the boat. Come here. Got a heck of a light line on this thing. Another decent one. This one's a scale fish right here. Definitely a scale fish. Oh, yeah. Let's get a weight on this guy. I'm guessing two. Clear the scale. I'm guessing this one's a two. Oh, shoot. 251. It's three fish on the scale. Not bad. We got a three and a 251. It's pretty good, actually. Now this is a jumper. God, I love spotted bass, dude. They're just so feisty. So feisty. Fat, too. I'm on now. Fatties, dude. Fatties. I'll put them on the scale. Zeroed. It's probably barely pushing two. No, it's not even. 170, 172. It's number four. Four fish sitting at nine pounds. <clears throat> Need a fifth fish. There we go. That's a nice one. Eh, I should call something out. Nice. Wind's calming down just a hair. Able to really work this bank. Slow roll this thing. He cracked it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Let's see if this one calls. This is a 175 and it calls. Oh wait, that doesn't call, that's number five. Oh my gosh. Wow. All right, for five fish, we're sitting at 1079. 1079. The wind's been blowing down this bank and created a little little mud line over here. It's not a super thick mud line, but it's definitely dirtied it up enough. Maybe uh, these fish will munch in it. Ah, it's like cat and mouse. You gotta give it to them and take it away. And you find that just that happy medium where you find exactly what they like, then you just capitalize on it. So there's one right there. Oh, he kissed it. <clears throat> You gotta get it low enough. You gotta get in front of their face, and right before you go over them, give it a quick turn. Give it a quick handle turn. Speed it up. Like that. See? Oh hell yeah! That was like on command. That was a lot of fun. This is total pre-spawn right here, dude. Fifty-five. Yeah, 55, almost 56 degree water temperature. Dude, he got all three hooks. Jeez. He was not coming off. 
I don't think this guy will do anything. Nah, I'm going to toss him. There's one. Gosh. Straight reaction bite, man. This this is my Cole. We'll put him on the scale. Ooh. Do not want that hook in my hand. Alright, let's see. If you're gonna do anything for us. Barely. Hook hole. Number four. 1084 now. It's a coal. Coal's a coal. Coal is a coal. Ah, oh, little fella. Little fella. Old floating fly. He ain't gonna call. Oh, here's a good one. This is a really good one. This is a freaking toad, guys. Back drag off just a hair. Good. This is gonna call. Could have really used this fish the other day. This is a toad. Pig. Pig. This might be the biggest spot I've caught out here. Oh, this is a freaking toad spot. Toad spot, guys. Oh, that's a giant freaking spot. That's that's my PB spot out here on Lake Orville. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. I don't think I've caught one this big out here. A six pounder is my biggest so far. 
Let's see. How big is this one to go? Oh, oh, hell yeah. Six seventy nine. Six seventy nine. That's a Nicole. We're at 1589 for our best five now. Now that's what I'm freaking talking about. Got us a 679. Big old spot. I'm so glad I came out to Lake Orville today. You know, we've been catching, caught some fish on the A-Rig, got some on uh spinning rod, picked up that floating fly, got me a big PB spot Lake Orville. Let's freaking go. Let's let this fish Let's do a nice clean release. Now that is what I'm freaking talking about. Oh, I did not think that fish was that big at first. That was insane. It's days like this where you just you come in with no zero expectations. And you just have a killer day. We're working on 15, almost close to 16 pounds right now for our best five. And there's like two or three little rats. So we are working on a bag. Gonna use that fish the other day. Ugh. But let's go. my weedless starter head. This will definitely cool something. Fat dude. She is fat. Oh, man. Fish are healthy today. Smack that freaking dart head. I got the pliers on this one. That'll cool. All right, let's see. Two forty-three. It's gonna call a one seventy-eight. Sixteen fifty-four. Not bad. We have a one eighty-six to get rid of. Get another two and a half, three pounder. We'll be busting 17 pounds. Let's go. I think this is going to call. Good. Uh. Mm. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll find out. One, 180, 179, nope, didn't coal. Did
This one should call. This is a decent one. This one should call. Yes, sir. We got ourselves a bag, folks. This is gonna do her. This is gonna do her. This is gonna be the cherry on top right here. So we gotta get rid of a 186. Yep. 295. That is 1763. Not a bad one. Fat. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. Got two three pounders, six something, close to seven. Some twos, two and a half. That's a good bag. Good bag. All right, we're just getting back to the boat ramp. Talk about an epic day. Camera shut off. Didn't even feel like swapping batteries out or anything. Just kept catching fish after fish. Didn't call anything, but overall had a solid, solid day. That's what happens when you get out here and just fun fish, you know? Magic happens. Catch, catch your PB spot for Lake Oroville, at least. My PB spot to date is still a 9.05, but to catch one out here on the home pond, pretty sick. I'll take it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Had a lot of fun just catching fish after fish. If you guys get a chance, get out to Lake Oroville, go rip some lips, have some fun. And if you want to support the channel, pick up some Bass Union jigs, some of our local dealers, Tackle Warehouse, if you guys are across the country. And appreciate y'all. We'll see you in the next one.